Greetings! 3.10 Astral Planes! This is here. Let me check everything. I think I. Hello, IDC Gaming, where I mean. I'm not a lemon. You a lemon. So, today in this stream, we're going to be checking out the new civics. We're going to finish the new origin. And we will try and use all Astral Arches and, and get the stream to 50 likes. We set out to everyone and it helps me compete with Mon too, who just dominate the stream, it's not fair. I have got a video up that's just gone up now, or you might be watching this VOD back, because I linked to it at the end of the video, if you are, let me know in the comments. We used the Garashu Intercell- no we didn't. We used the Human Dimensional Commune! With the new origin, Dimensional Worship and Dark Consortiism, we used two of the other new civics. They are very good. Dark Consultiism, very, very good. Very good edict. Dimensional Worship, eh. It's alright. But we will be now using an AI with the Rift. An AI? A machine with the Rift World Origin. Guardian Matrix, which is essentially the same as the human bio one. Where Empire Size from Planets and Systems is 100% more. Empire Size from Pops and Districts is halved. And diplomatic weight is 20%. But you cannot add or remove it after the game started. This is pretty good. But also not for robots. But I'm using it anyway. Because why not? We'll see if it is actually good. And hyperspace synchronicity. Where we get hyperlane breach points as a guaranteed research option. With low intel on all systems within three hyperlanes of our starting system. We get planet sensor range plus two. Sublight speed plus 10. These are completely not synergistic at all, but I just wanted to try the other Civic, <laughs> basically. And then we're just playing a standard robot with a Riftworld origin. We'll get into it. Hello, Monster Mash. Um, we're going to play on my standard settings, but I need to change this a little bit. Yeah, we're just going to go through the origin and the... The actions and try them out. And if you have any questions before you buy the DLC, let me know. Because we can try out. Maybe you'll get it. Maybe you won't if you like what you see. So, the Rift World. For as long as we can remember, the Great Rift has loomed in the skies above the stage. Legends propose that our past is intimately entwined with this mysterious celestial scar, an ancient impact site near our capital. Can I move this? Yes, thank you. I can't click into our system. I wanted a system. Okay, guy, DC game it for the five pounds. You should try a spiritualist trade build with this at some point on the stream. I did a spiritualist build with a video that I just uploaded. Um, so we're just trying robots because you can use robots with the rift. So I wanted to try it. For generations, the site was revered but still understood. However, recent seismic activities uncovered subsurface anomalies in the crater. Preparations are already underway to drill into its core. Opinions remain divided on what we may uncover there. Is it simple coincidence that this has occurred at the advent of hyperdrive technology? Just as we reach the heavens, our attention is pulled back to the ground. Perhaps what lies beneath the surface of this world is meant to aid us on our journey to the stars. Perhaps it can prepare us for whatever lies on. Oh, specifically trade. True. We could do that. Also, why is that not working? Very not. Work? Why is it not working? Um. So yeah, I did set up the the YouTube chat to come on screen, but it seems to not be working for some reason. Let me see if I can quickly fix. Pause. Oh, it's gonna play. Okay. Oh no, it's playing. Pop out. This work? No, this is just broken. Okay, whatever. Hello, Alberto Junior. Too late. Jump to go here. Well, here. Well, I can't play. Nope. 
Hello from Wales. Hello from Wales too. <laughs> I take credit for chat being broken. I don't know why it's broken, but it's fine. Anyway, this is insane. Look how much we can see from the start. And we're robots. We do get more empire size. And planets and systems, but it's fine. Because less from pops, and that's what we will do. We'll just build lots of pops there. We do get inner fo focus, which uses influence to unity. We're not going to do that initially, though. I don't know if that's ever good for a robot. I don't think this civic's good for robots. But that's what we're here to do and try. It also changed the outliner. Pretty cool. Size 18. Size 25. I'll take the size 25 straight away. So many things to survey and take. There you go. We've queued that up at least. And let's buy some minerals so we can expand and we'll go to isolationist for more unity is the new dlc on yes the new civic does produce one civic from warriors so you could just do mass turtle build also going unyielding would be insane would being a bullock to push the citadel empire be that it it can i've got an idea well Let's just say, what if you combined the Civic with Barbaric Boilers and made a massive uh, planet? That could be uh, very strong. Very strong. Yeah, if you haven't liked the stream yet, I get. Pushes it out to the world. And we need, we need all the help I can get. Yeah, we're first going to grab expansion so we can get more pops. Because pops are actually cheap for us. So we want pops. It's just basically a standard... A good old standard machine build. Also, did I build research? I meant to build industrial, but that's fine. We need alloys. So we can build star bases. Yeah, we do start with astral threads. And now that relics and astral actions are now in discovery... And we do have physics insights as a first thing that we can do. It just gives 10% monthly research for 250 threads. It's not awful, but it's not like the thing you want to immediately do. If that makes sense. Also, we can't actually look through this because we need to do the dig site. We will just get another science ship to do the dig site immediately. Easy Gamer, thank you for the EB8 membership. Much appreciated. Yeah, the only issue with Unyielding is it's not that good against AIs. Like, it could be good online. Maybe. Like, I don't know, the AIs don't really attack you. And we got an archaeological unit. Huge. Massive astral rush right now. Get that dig site going. Go, 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 go. This origin gives starts us with that dig site. Starts us with astral rifts. And the astral rifts have a 100% more chance to appear in systems we control. So they'll uh, spawn more. We also get exploration speed plus 25%. And less fail probability, which is very cool. That'd be cool, very nice. The build is try out new civics. And... Then kind of meta uh, robot stuff, pretty much. We just leveled up a bunch. Research speed, ship cost reduction. More research speed. Leader experience gain, yeah. And more ship build cost reduction. I like. The origin does exactly what I just said. Basically, you spawn with the dig site. You spawn with the riff. And... You get buffs to those. Hydra Bay is very nice. Also, I am not... I'm not playing well. But it's fine. We'll get these planets. More survey speed. More pops. Everything's happening. Yes. What? Didn't we start with a tech in physics? We start with Astral Harvesting as well. Oh, we start with Hyperlean Breach Point. 
I don't know why this matters. Like, is that really that good to start with, with a Civic? I don't know. Is he in Persona Knights Barbies? Yeah, it could be good. Okay, we need more building slots. I re This new UI throws me off so much. I like seeing all the information in one place. I don't think you can change it either. That's why I like Tiny li Outliner, but it's effectively useless now. <laughs> it's sad. Uh, okay, the anomaly's not on this planet, luckily. Look at this planet. Engineering research from mining drones. Well, I think we found a mining planet. A mineral planet. Oh no, that's from a civic. We start with hyperlink breach points. Wait, just give research speed, which is very nice. And more sublight speed. We will take those. The edicts you don't start with. The dark matter edicts. So we do get inner focus, but that's from a civic. The dark matter civic gives you dark matter uh, edicts, which are really strong. I did a run with that on the video that I just uploaded as well. So you can check that out after or now. Also, Mineral Traits is dead. It's dead to us. Look at this. No. We're just going to get more Arky speed. So we can do this as quickly as possible. That's clearly my food world, yes. Precisely. Yeah, keep building. We need colony ships. We need everything. Even though we are a tall civic, we want to get these planets and then we'll hunker down and just build many pops as possible, which get less empire size. Which is just very nice. Our physics research is just zooming by because of the buff we have to it. Great. Energy grid. Also, probably. Unlock this. More society research. We zoom in. We zoom in. Let's buy some alloys to, since we have so many minerals. And the alloy trait. I mean, it's not bad. But we'll probably make the leader do their thing. But you can basically change people around. Uh, we're gonna suck for unity. So let's let's buff unity as much as we can. Why am I upgrading? Why why did I just click that button? Why am I exploring? What am I doing? Let's go explore with this science ship thing. Yeah, this is fine. I'm not choking at all. Don't worry. Energy grid's gonna be up. Very nice. We just need more jobs. Jeez. Is the leader patch out? Yes. Yeah, so this is 3.10. The video I filmed on wasn't on 3.10 because I wasn't given the online thing. Uh, I was just given the DLC online. The free update. I think we just stay in this area. I don't think we expand. I mean, we could. We'll see. We will see. I mean, like, our empire size is only just at 100. And we found someone. Yeah, so leaders are nerf because they don't actually produce physical resources. But they do give buffs to production. The later game, leaders are really good. Just early game, they're not. Um, so basically, later game, we're going to have so many more resources because you can stack them even more now. Yeah, the neutron star. I do want those planets. I would find it great to see in co-op play where you send out the minions to explore the galaxy or manage the map. 
Me and Monty have done a game like that on my channel somewhere. It was, I think it was called something like about co-op. Where we didn't entirely just use one role, but we, um, we did co-op. And whatever someone decided was what happened. That makes sense. There's so many pop-ups. This game's zooming. We're zooming. Don't have enough envoys. Sorry. I mean, it's if I still want to play out all of these. I know, right? Gosh. It's a hard time. Living Brit and RT game visit. Wait, what? Oh, oh, that. Well, yeah, they did that too. Oh, no. Pirates. Pirates. Please don't die. They f I keep doing this. They keep dying. Thank you for the two pound. Is it me or it was I cutting out? Was I cutting out? I don't think I was, but maybe I was. Colonies, colonize everything. If you want to name any planets, just let me know. We can we can rename all these planets, <laughs> but we're basically waiting for the stick site, which I didn't even read. I'm dumb. Let's read the dig sites. The site summary, we've detected anomalous seismic activity from deep inside an ancient crater on the surface of the stage. Under what am I saying? I can't do punctuation. Reach city. Underground sonar revealed a previously unknown cavity. We finished that. Initial excavations into the base of the crater revealed a fully formed cylinder of impact tile lodged deep into the earth. This vein must have originated from a meteoric impact of extremely high velocity. Initial calculations demonstrate the object must have arrived at nearly the speed of light. The termination point of the impact... Impacted... Uh, impactite? Vein? What? We have discovered an expansive cave system. Walls of an underground water support thin lines of pale vegetation on the cabin walls. At the bottom of one of these pools lies the remnants of an anomalous... Anomalous? Anomina... Oh, I can't read. The spherical object. Is not a natural formation and appears to be the source of the impact site. Agent Sphere. We have received. Re we have recovered the sphere from the underground lake. While covered in vegetative growth, much of it remains fully intact. Its construction is a strange mix of highly sophisticated design and crude assembly. Perfectly smooth metallic plates cover the frontal portion of the ship, which must have reduced friction significantly upon atmospheric entry. Dr dr l -l 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 the trajectory of its resting site aligns with the vein of impacted impactile. Imp I've never seen that word before. Confirming that this sphere is the source of metamorphic rock that led us here. Even more incredibly, there are signs that this vessel had passengers. And we caught up. Okay, we're going to call one. Slough. No. <laughs> Reach City. Slough. These planets are insane. And make sure they work the correct jobs. Thank you. I can't believe, yeah, this engineering just from mining jobs is insane. Let's go slow, slow. And we got an asteroid and we have no ships. This is great. This is just great. Sin study. <laughs> Music stop for some reason. This is very quiet. Astral action. We can use physics insight. I'm actually going to save the threads because I know what's coming. Um. But we'll use it later. We've also found the crater order, which is huge, actually. Because they can aid us in our research. And then we can eventually get enough opinion to get fundamental principle knowledge, which gives a bunch of research speed. This is very nice. Unity amp. We'll do mineral amp on their other trait, I guess. 
Slow is here. What will you be? We've got a mineral world. We got energy here. This can be like science. This can be alloys. Um, this is also alloys. Yeah, so this one's gonna be energy. You make energy. Cool. We'll just keep spamming colony ships. Where is this reach city? Oh, we can make this even better, a even better mineral world. Yes, invest all the funds. And ancestors, we have recovered a cache of documents from within the ancient sphere, each written in our archaic version of our own language. Several of these mentioned names associate with our most sacred texts. Also, I really wow, this is on five. Okay. Pause the game, please. So we really want to keep mining to make this mineral world even better. So I'm just gonna sell. I'm gonna sell alloys so we can do it and minerals. There has to be more. Fusion reactor, afterburners, more research speed. Uh, at least experience gain fine. Mechanical pop assembly. Damage. Mechanical pop assembly. Yes. A fortress was named Kadia at the border is basically. We will put that up here, I think, once we get them. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? We will survey. We will now use James May here. To explore the oh we don't have the tech, but we have got it research. Yes, we can. We're gonna research the tech instantly. And then we're just gonna sit around and wait. We can maybe do an anomaly, I guess. Also, reach city's about to get uh new. Uh oh. No. <laughs> it killed pops. It's fine. Who even cared, right? Who even cared? Let's go explore. Not reach... Oops, and... Captain Slow is exploring. Oh, look at this. Max mining districts plus two. Minerals from jobs, 25. Max minerals, eight. Reach City is the biggest, best mineral world I've ever seen. Sick. Okay. Colonize, my friends. Wait, what? Is this a... S oh, this is another empire. They better have not sent a fleet to push me out. We might have just got a fanatic purifier on our border. <laughs> no. All right then. We'll survey up then. We shall survey upwards. But that's really annoying. I'm not going unyielding. Who do you think we are? Okay, tech world. We need tech. So, oh, why are they working these jobs? I swear. Be smarter. We need science. We are lacking in the science department. Very much so. We'll make you an energy scientist. Defeat on slight. No. No. 
Did I just lose Slow? Are you... What is this game? <laughs> I didn't... I didn't read. We're, we're rolling back. <laughs> I should have uh, put a thing. Uh, just ignore Slough. Slough was fine. Slough was fine. We just need a few armies. <laughs> There's no cheating. We need... <laughs> We need space. We need to... Oh, we have to do the thing. I'm dumb. But we're not going to finish it in time, are we? Yeah. I wasn't reading. I was... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not cheating. It's... um Being smart. Yes. There's a lot going on. My mind's occupied with a lot of things here. <laughs> His face. Mustache man. Oh, we get different traits now as well. What a shame. And the Democratic Rihirni Nara Nations. Hello. Please be friends. Let's be friends. A friend. Oh, minerals. I don't actually think we need the armies now, but it's fine. Hey gamers, it's fine. Right, with the star bases, we're going to buff our economy, solar panels, and hydro. Exactly, it's a creative use of, of mechanic. Our independence has been guaranteed. The, we, the AI knows how bad I am. The AI even knows. I don't know. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Yeah, we can actually go into the rift. No, we can't. In 11 months, we can. What am I? What is my brain? Genuinely, it's not functioning today. The brain does not function. Okay, fine. Everything is going according to plan. There we go, the subterranean aliens. We're not going to kill them. We will coexist in peace and we'll keep Slough. The residents of Slough were quite angry that we were inhabiting them. So, yeah, they they got angry. Prosperity's finished though, or tech. Rift Sphere technology developed. We have developed a technology that allows us to slip between the folds of an astral rift. Rift spheres. Constructed of a highly advanced, perfectly smooth nanomaterial, the sphere is able to frictionlessly glide through turbulent areas of space and time. As we are unsure where we will arrive, where we will arrive, each rift sphere is connected to an anchor cable, plus back in case of an emergency. Cable is tethered to a science ship in our universe. And we're going to do it. James May, exploring the astral rift. Off they go. Do it for us, James. Do it for us. We believe in you. Good luck to get some good idea. I hope it goes well. We also have saved enough astral threads to make another astral split. So we can make another rift here. Which will probably grab once we've surveyed here because I want planets. Planets will be decent, I think. And this is our alloy world. We'll have seven planets because we got cut off by these stupid aggressive aliens on our borders. 
But that's just what happens in life, I guess. We need to buy stuff. Night on Top Gear, we go into the rift. Great times were had. We only slightly got murdered. There they are. They're not even they're not even a fanatic purifier or anything. What they all this Why were they aggressive to me? That's so rude. Fine. Rune planet! A voyage into the near rift. The a voyage into the rift near the stage delivers us into orbit of a planet in ruins. Upon entering the atmosphere, we discover a landscape pockmark with burning craters here and there. Warships lay half burned in the sands. The world is a battlefield. Intercepted radio transmissions are frenzied and unnerving. Incredible, the language of the inhabitants match precisely with the documents we recovered from the ancient sphere beneath the stage. Rough translations indicate these people are on the losing side of an enduring conflict. The foes referred to simply as the invaders, bearing another wave of attacks. In the devastation on the planet may well be the last. Search for survivors. James May. Please find anyone. We're gonna improve with our neighbors. We're just spamming tech. That's all I know how to do. I'm a simple man. I see tech, I make tech. And we found disruptors already. That's cool. More XP gain, alloys. Ah, we'll go XP. Oh, there's a astral scar here. And we'll explore. We're gonna just contain ourselves in these uh systems, I think. Hopefully we get please no. No, <laughs> we lost this planet. Oh well. Well, we are just stuck to a few systems, but that's playing tall, right? We're playing tall because that's what the Civic wanted us to do. That's really annoying, but it's fine. Opposing factions. There are several large population centers on the surface of the planet based on their transmissions. They've identified two distinct ideological factions. Now we're going to let you decide um, which ones we go for here. So I'll uh, start the poll and then I'll read. So I'll light Vanguard or Blackbeard. So the Starlight Vanguard are grim militarists preparing for the coming conflict with the unified determination. Black Hood are a pri priestly order promising spiritual sanctuary from the looming threat. At this point, we are certain that the similarities in our language not be mere coincidence. These are our living ancestors and both factions are in danger. These peoples use our language. The Sizonometry is nearly identical to our own, yet they possess, possess individual minds. How can that be? So what's funny is we are robots. <laughs> so how... How are they that? Very weird, but everyone is going for Solic Vanguard, it seems. I'll give it a minute. Just a minute, while you all vote. Annoyingly, I can't do anything else. I guess I could, actually, but it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Starlight Vanguard has won. We'll visit the Militaris. And Sly can get a great energy grid. 
Oh, how slow. It's so great. Don't you all love slow? I sure love slow. Why is it called slow? The greatest place in Britain. Slow. We're naming the plants. We got Super Prime and Horison Prime that can be renamed. So if you have any uh, ideas for planet names, you can go for it. We got Tech World here. And our Alloy World. Wait, both just suck. So Contrent. <laughs> we'll name this one Stoke Contrent. You slow. Techno soon. Techno. I'm gonna go supremacy next because uh just in case. Just in case we need to murder. We opened a dialogue with the militarist factions that call themselves the Starlight Vanguard. Our language, appearance why isn't it pause when I open this? Our language, appearance, and the presence of a rift sphere quickly convinced them of the common heritage. In their desperation, communicate the revealed much about our history. Long ago, our species were confronted by an extra-dimensional threat. The invaders arrived to wage a brutal extermination campaign. At first, our people stood firm, but over time their defences crumbled. On the eve of defeat, an astral rift appeared. Operation Lifeboat was launched in a bid to escape through the rift and preserve what remained of their civilization. A rift sphere was constructed, but its rudimentary design only allowed for a one-way journey. It's the very object we found buried deep inside the ancient crater in the stage. In order to withstand the journey, a select group of compatible individuals were radically transformed. Our ancestors believed that only a unified mind could hope to pass through the rift unscathed. This was the very beginning of our consciousness. On the side of the rift, the sphere was launched less than 50 years ago. There are some among the people who still remember that day. For us, eons have passed. We were engineered. Oh no. Our creators, we must help them. A research agreement, yes. Sure. That'll help. Okay, we're exploring another rift as well. With Nicholas Brightwell here. They want a defense attack. We're not going to do a defense attack. We will be friends. Also, we can now do... Um, the fundamental principles of our knowledge, a bit of influence, a bit of energy. But now our node, 15% research speed, survey speed, increased chance for rare text. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. And we're just going to keep building up. Don't hear Keel never again, shell. Simply different stuff. You know, I'm a bit supremacist myself. Ugh. I can I need to ban. Okay, there's a creature. Let me get the pole up again. It's a choose your own adventure. Communicate. Uh. Serve. Creature. So soon after arrival, we touched down on a stone pedestal. That conforms perfect. This is a different sphere uh, rift thing, by the way. This is the other astral thing. <clears throat> so a stone pedal that conforms perfectly to the dimension of the rift sphere. In fact, the location is so obviously due to our needs that the idea of it being quincent has been rejected out of hand. In all directions, a vast and radiant sky stretches beyond us. Initial scans indicate we are sitting atop a massive tower, the bottom of which is blocked from view by swirling layers of cloud. The edge of the pedestal is a solitary creature it wears a tattered dusty robe and is apparently waiting to greet us and soon the creature wasn't an option yeah let's communicate we ain't we get threads it's nice and we're communicating and we have another one um I'll, maybe i shouldn't do the poll i'll just let you uh chat we held council with the starlight vanguard they have made Plan how grim things plain? Plain how grim things stand in their war against the invaders. Extra dimensional fleets have been detected several systems away and are already closing in. We have arrived at a critical moment. The Vanguard, this is no coincidence. Our presence is an act of fate. The revival has inspired our people. Give us the critical aid we need, and we are yet have a chance to end this war once and for all. The remaining fleets are in poor condition. 
could not withstand another loss. We should be able to send a limited amount of supplies to the anchor cable before the rift becomes too unstable. Shipment of direly needed alloys will help with the fleet repairs and enhancements. Given the advanced construction of their ships, we may learn something of their designs along the way. A wiser use of our time may be able to apply a more advanced knowledge of astral threads into enhancing their ship's shields. While experimenting in nature, we may make some breakthroughs that could benefit our own fleet. It is our understanding that invaders favor energy weapons, so any improvements here may go a long way. Offer alloys, 100 alloys. Offer threads, 100 threads. All the war is hopeless. Let's visit the preservationist. I see a lot of alloys. Alloys, alloys. We'll do alloys. It's only a free difficulty, but we'll do the alloys. Um, yeah, we can do that. And I'm just going to save astral threads to keep popping out astral stuff. The tech doesn't really matter too much. In my opinion, you want to rush the astral rifts as much as you can. Let's get to prize. Got an agenda. Do we even want military build? I mean, there's no other good thing, so we'll do military build up. I suppose. Our pops are growing so quick. Mad. Build. Build. More things. Build. Build. Eat the rift. I don't think we can eat the rift. Unfortunately. Station output gives us more um threads, which is nice. We should also probably nom nom up these threads. Okay. Let me know in chat again. The invasion of our ancestors' home planet is imminent. Following our meeting with the Starlight Vanguard, we have been invited to a World Council for an emergency meeting. We took a special note of what aid we have given so far and praised us for our generosity. There is a little time for action before what many are viewing as the final conflict. Stockpiles of energy are dangerously low. Contributing a donation would boost the production of emergency support ships and push the battle in their favour. Many of their scientists are also requesting samples of astral threads we have collected for further experimentation, enhancing the shields of their fleet. Since these invaders tend to favour energy weapons, the benefits here could be potentially significant. Watching our ancestors engage in debate, the chaotic expression of individual opinions is unsettling. We must be thankful that such inefficiency was engineered out of us long ago. True. What should we do? Offer threads? Offer energy? Or do nothing? I think we need to offer something. They, they made us. We could do energy, we could do threads. Energy. Give energy. Prop them up. Okay, you said it so passionately. And we'll go for energy. Oh, less you didn't see. Hello, dead heretic. Our military ship's stuck, I think. No, it's not. It's fine. Keep exploring. We must protect our creators. Yes. It must be done. It must be. Okay, so this is the other one where we communicated with the creature. We could invite them aboard off for return, but I'll read the story while you contemplate. With no means of fully translating the creature's language, we resorted to a more direct form of communication, intimately flashing the rift spheres external lights. Within moments, the creature fell to the ground. At first, we were concerned that we had harmed it, but it soon became clear that it was simply offering some sort of praise or supplication. Not long after, a courtier of similarly dressed beings approached the pedestal, each bearing a basket of what we could only assume to be gifts. We can invite them on board, we get a bunch of society, or offer something, but we get a bunch of society and no alloys. The difficulty for the, that is hard, but what do you think we should do? Invite them? Offer something? I will wait for a reply. Or two. 
I think we could, yeah, we could offer them. Because that makes us on good terms, I think. Yeah, it's 100 alloys. Exactly. Let's give them alloys in return and see what happens. Also, I forgot to build a bunch of star bases. We could ask them to help. Yeah. I don't think we can do that, unfortunately, but that would be cool. Astral Rift Exploration Speed, yes. We'll take that. Research alternatives. We're zooming now. Almost 400 tech. And we can almost make another astral thing. That'll be nice. It would be cool, but I feel like that would be very hard to program. The only reason I have two rifts going is because I summoned one with the actions. Oh, we got the reloading bit as well. We get ship fire rate and more defense platforms. Pretty cool. But also, we probably won't use it. <laughs> because we're not really going to be in defense. We might. But who knows. Reporosity. We will not disturb them further. Our very arrival seems to have accidentally fulfilled some ancient pro prophecy. Somehow they knew we were coming, and given the profound importance they placed on it, our, our arrival is likely to have a significant effect on their civilization. We've decided to leave a small gift of advanced metals behind as evidence of our goodwill. On one of these, we inscribe the mathematical location of our home system should they ever find their way to us, in the hopes it will prove useful to us sociologists We've recorded the entire interac interaction for prosperity. We get unity and it ends the riff. So whenever we finish a rift, we get more max threads and we unlock more actions. We have astral boost that gives us more sublight speed, less hyper jump charge time for five years, and astral siphons, which give us a building that increases astral thread storage, provides astral unit jobs, the astral units and energy credits into research points and astral threads. This is very good. We want that. We want that a lot. Can you put some new OST? Is that the, the new music? I haven't actually listened to it. Which ones is it? The ones at the bottom? Which one do we start at? Uh, let me pause this. I'm guessing Stargaze is near. Does it play? Do I have it muted? Oh, there we go. We will have the new OST. Okay, let's wait and get a riff going, I think. I'll hold it down. No problem. Oh, I forgot that the new OST was there. I never listened to the music. We should probably sell food as well. Get the food out of here. Yeah. Give me the new riff. Oh, we don't have enough threads. This is getting lived. Yeah, the flat, it would be, but I don't think they'd do it, to be honest. <laughs> In a war of heaven, do you have, a def have to defeat both full members to end it? I found that the hard way. It depends what side you join. Depends what side you join. And then you have to defeat the other side. If you go independent, you have to kill everyone. Okay, so let me know in chat which one you want to do. But our astral fleets have successfully repelled the invaders. While celebrations have erupted all across the planet, the energy we provided was key in producing emergency support fleets that we used to fill critical holes in their logistics chains. 
World Council is declaring a planetary holiday in our name. Sick Rifts Day will be celebrated for generations to come. Uh, yeah, our empire is... Oh, my game volume's not on. Uh, let me fix that. One sec. Wait, why isn't it... Yeah, my game audio isn't actually working, I think. Oh, it is. It's just turned download. There you go. Can you hear that? Okay. Where was I? Many here look upon a bonded consciousness with envy. Some even suggest they begin to engineer their own minds to follow our worthy example. We may choose one prominent figure from the society to bring back with us as an ambassador and historian. The rest of the ancestors shall remain and rebuild. Scientist. We'll do science. And spirit of our ancestors. The discovery of our ancestors has invigorated our society. We're progen progy? progeny of an ancient civilization from which we have gleaned valuable knowledge and technological expertise. Our journey through the rift was a momentous one and will not soon be forgotten. We've discovered that our consciousness is the product of deliberate engineering for the first time. We understand how we came to be. Our goal now is to surpass the simple designs of the progenitor. Indeed, we get kinetic weapon damage, armor hit points, armor hardening, shit build speed from the rest of the game. Very cool. And we have this Rift Warp Scientist. I believe this is the one we just got. It leader life span 50 years, experience game 10%, and does not count towards leader capacity. Unity from jobs. Oh, we can get custom AIs. Get more unity from jobs. Then we can whack them somewhere, maybe. And we also now get Hyper really insights. And that just gives us tech progression to hyper relays and quantum catapults, which gets us progression towards quantum catapults. Pretty cool. It might be because you went independent, yeah. Sometimes the game can like be weird. Which is pretty annoying, but that's just this lovely game, how it works. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, we're just gonna keep spamming output everywhere. Isn't it great? We do need a few maintenance grids, but we don't need the miners anymore. Acquisition successful. Look at these level ups. These don't work because it's our leader. Resources. Research. Defense platforms. Buff. Yeah, we can turtle. Uh, monthly influence. You know what? We could go monthly influence because we can do inner focus. We'll use our influence to give us unity. Strange transmission. Uh oh. We see you, children of rifts. Our call led you to the vessel. Our hands opened the door. The survival was necessary. Your new consciousness was necessary. Who are you? We walk behind the rifts. An war, an end's foe. Your ancestors know them. You, children of planes, can help us. How can we help? Master Toon, we feel you. Every time you breach the planes, soon we will know you and come to you. We are close. What could it be? What could it be? I'm not scared at all. I'm slightly scared. Help. Wait, there are no valid systems where we can split open a new rift. rift. Oh, they have to be on a... Scar? No, but we have scars. Why can't we open more rifts? Bring an astral rift in a random system you control. Must control a system without any adjacent astral rifts. Oh no. Every system has an adjacent rift. We need to expand. 
We need to expand at once. Or otherwise we can't do more rifts. We could war. We could take uh, these planets from systems. We'll need the influence back. What do you think, chat? Should we uh, go to war here? Technological acquisition successful. I guess we'll save it for Astral Siphon then. While we expand the Empire. Make the scientist a, a research buffing person. And probably also... Who just had that? You, James May is now... No, not James May. The other one. Where are you? You. Gives us a bunch of more tech. That's essentially what assist research is, because that's... Uh, this research is gone now. Unfortunately. Construction complete. Yeah, let's make astral siphons. We could very much do with getting more astral stuff. I love astral stuff. You need a building slot. That's fine. <laughs> Gave some brony sours. Um, we left because we were scared that we were going to affect their civilization. We also don't have enough room to summon more rifts. But I can't play tall, I have to expand. Because you can't, they can't be adjacent to other rifts. And every system is adjacent to one. Technological acquisition Become loud. Why is it not playing the new stuff? Only play new. Oh, is it on shuffle? There we go. We'll play the new music. Astral Siphons. So we actually need jobs. In the video that I made, they didn't actually need jobs. So they were very good. They were very OP and broken. But now they produce energy and tech. Unless that's just for... Robots? I don't really know. That's fine. Start getting a good income. Surface variable detected. Doesn't affect the beginning of a current game and left when it choose. Oh, yeah, that's annoying when it does that. I'm very tempted to go to war with it these soon. Very soon. But we only have we have tier two disruptors, but tier one reactor. Oops. The tech rush was too much. The reactor's here. No. Get that instead. Okay, so we should start booming in astral astral rift. So this job What they barely give any riffs? 0.7. But they give a lot of tech, to be fair. Technological acquisition success. Annoying. We got so many in the video. <laughs> Technological acquisition successful. This is bad. Cruisers? But I have tier one. Okay, there we go. Fish fusion react, finally. Okay, let's expand so I can get more rift. Please. 
Bunch them. Bunch. Technology. Weird how close encourage enemies over friends. Yeah. It's better to just dominate everything in the galaxy. Who would have thought? TRGC enjoy. Thank you for the uh, super chats, the member. What's the flavor? Big. <laughs> Anomalous surface variable detected. Ah yes, the flavor big. Construction complete. Council agenda available. Oh big I've never heard of that before. Oh I didn't see oh, oh I have to remake it. Oh, it's fine. I do love that. Fine. Fine, smart as soup. The best. If you're in friend, you can't take the territory of vassalizer, which makes it more difficult. Give yeah, me your friends. You're meant to be friends. Yay. System survey complete. Okay, we can now use the astral splitting, but we don't actually have the required threads for it now. Ooh. We want energy though. Yeah, we are producing what? Uh wait. Yeah. Nine? Almost ten per month. Construction complete. Not the worst thing. They've seemed to have nerfed it. When I Compared to what I've played. But you could get a lot of them. Technological acquisition. Oh, yeah. I mean, our economy and stuff is super strong. But we just want thread, which you can't make more of these buildings because they're planet limited. Very annoying. Like, why can't I just make an entire Technology planet dedicated to threads? That would be great. Also, I do have zero unity. I should probably build unity. Maybe. Technological acquisition Maybe we should make unity. I guess the only place we can really do that is on that capital. Wormhole travel. No, they blocked me off. This this empire is absolutely doing my head in. So we're going to just make a few claims. And there's an astral rift. I want that. How much could we claim? We could just claim all of this. I like that. And then we just sort of make. But, you know. Fine. Technological acquisition successful. Then we stop buying monthly and then we just go I want alloys. Successful. Give me alloys. Bad enough. Surface variable detected. It's murdering Tom. Technological acquisition successful. System survey complete. We can almost. There we go. Another thing is made. Explore that rift. Yeah, you. We, we, I've had enough of them now. I want to try and get enough military so we can vassal them. We completely eclipse them in terms of technology. We just need a few ships, really. Technological acquisition success. 1.3k. Construction complete. 
We've also just built all of these so we can solar panel it up. Solar panel. I guess we'll build the reloading bay there as well. I have a question. Is this DLC worth the price so far? So it's $20, right? And it's on sale for like $17.50. It's a bit high, but it isn't awful. What I like about it is it adds the rifts to every playthrough, and the rifts are quite interesting. The only issue is that once you've done all of the events, you might get bored of them. But that's kind of the same with like the excavation sites, I guess. You know? Construction complete. It depends. If you like exploration and like doing dig sites, stuff like that, it's worth it. If not, maybe not. I think the bonuses are quite strong. Once we get onto the later ones, there are some good ones. Not gonna lie. I mean, even Astral Boost helps your military sublight speed 15% a lot. You can just build a quantum catapult. It's not awful. As an origin to play through, it's not bad. Anyway, we are at the point where we go in another Astral Rift, so let me know if you want to bring it aboard and give aid, or bring it aboard to recover its gear. We are summoned. We are summoned? We are surrounded by garbage. From time to time, we have witnessed new tears in space open around us and dump even more garbage into the swirling heat. Based on the nature of the debris, this space is being treated as a junkyard for a star-faring civilization. Parts and pieces of an unknown machine are littered amongst day. The disposables of alien households. <laughs> you just see like a toaster flying by. Generally, these items have no great value than scrap. However, our sens sensors have picked up signs of life. Inside of a spacesuit, the unconscious body of an unknown organism lies dormant. It's unclear how long it has been floating there. I think we bring it aboard and give it aid. What we're going to do. Construction complete. That is what we're going to do. These shits that, uh, you know, we're just going to skip over them. Very annoying people, but uh, that's just how it is sometimes. 50 likes, we did it. Thank you very much. I'm just going to say that's achieved. Um, I do realize that these are incredibly down Technological acquisition successful. Uh, with... <laughs> we probably won't get to 100. But I appreciate you all watching. It's greatly appreciated. We're going to carry on and do every action. Hopefully. Yeah, Monty has stolen everything. That's fine, though. That's what happens. The game's a game. Yeah. Oh no. Taking the alien and floating within the garbage was a mistake. After restoring its core temperature and tending to its files, the alien revived quickly, confused, and alarmed. It quickly grabbed a member of a medical team and is currently holding them hostage with a weapon drawn from their boot. They speak a language you do not understand and routinely point to the sphere's controls, emphatically repeating the same phrase. Do we dispatch the individual or do we attempt to negotiate? What do you think, guys? Yeah, we've. We invade Monty's galaxy through a ref. I like that. I think. How are we going to negotiate though? Because they don't understand us. Do we just kill? Did it... We tried to save them. Do we just murder them in cold blood? <laughs> negotiate. Okay, we'll negotiate. Let's, let's hope we can negotiate with them. Construction complete. There's a stream started 23 hours ago. What? Is that... Did I mess up and put the wrong date? Construction complete. Anomalous surface variable detected. I might have put, messed up and put the wrong date. That's why uh, it didn't get pushed out to people. Construction complete. And it's completely on my fault. Oh, it says 60 minutes. Technological Maybe I didn't. Acquisition successful. We just got a bunch of building slots. We really like Unity, so I should just apply some Unity on these planets. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm doing a 24 hour live stream. Totally what I'm doing. Get moats as well. Construction <clears throat> complete. It's locked up indeed. Situation log adjusted. Ship Why do I have complete. mineral jobs? Where are these mineral drops from? Can I feed them? Weird. Very odd. Okay. They're equivalent. I really want to do a tributary war for them. I'm just going to keep buying alloys whenever I can. I'm making corvettes, so we just be better than them. Acquisition successful. Just be better than them. Warhead? Are you hoping this DLC added a new anger crisis? I don't think it does. Be it fair, I don't even play to the end games. So I'm not sure. I think it. I mean, someone can correct me. What is this border goal? I hate them. De escalation. Demonstrating our peaceful intentions, we laid down our weapons. The alien released its grip on our unit and dropped their weapon in return. It appears to be in a highly emotional state, as it to be expected under the current circumstances. Given some time to calm down, it became receptive to our communications. We have begun the process of finding a way to hold a proper conversation. Progress has been slow. But early translations of the documents found in its possession indicate the aliens hundreds of years old. Got some bread. Well, well done, whoever said negotiate. We did it. To be fair, I forgot we were robots, so like... It wouldn't have really mattered if they killed a robot, because we've got them uploaded to the database, you know? Technological acquisition successful. Okay, we're at 5.5. Special project. I don't know how people do 24 hours. I can't play for longer than like three hours as well. After careful analysis, we've confirmed that the astral scar in Ridigus is dangerously unstable and requires immediate intervention to prevent further gravitational singularities forming in the system. Powerful ejection of astral threads could be redirected and repurposed in order to stitch the scar sh shut. This would repair the tear in space-time and I'd leave behind a significant amount of astral material. Alternatively, we could deliver a heavy payload of ordnance in an effort to widen the scar. Effectively, this would also allow for theoretical exploration. I want to blow it open. The ordinance we sent into the core of the astral scar is widened the fold in space-time. Where there was once a small tear in the cosmic fabric, there is now a larger rift that we are able to explore. Very cool. We want more astral stuff. Yeah. I like astral stuff. Astral stuff's cool. Still equivalent, damn it. These are inferior. Also, this ain't the new stuff. Play the new stuff. Overlord menu music. Beyond. Right? Unselect. Everything. We will just get the new stuff, I think. There's a lot of music. There's surely a better way than this. Oh my god. What have I done? Oh, we've almost done it. Yeah. I think these are the new music, but I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Lost Junker. The alien's name is Sutton. On a routine haul to dump a load of trash into the dimension, he was inadvertently sent along the ride. Technical issue with the dimensional drive aboard is required manual repair, and he was the only one with the technical skill to fix it. In doing so, he accidentally slipped into the space-time compressor and was lost. Life support system... Life support system of his advanced space suit kept him in hibernation for over two centuries. Sutton grievously misses his family, but knows he but knows we have no means of re returning him from where he came. Having notable skills in piloting advanced craft, he would fit nicely into our fleet training program. They will be trained properly. They will get 
we'll get society research, we'll get astral threads, and we end that astral rift. Cool. We can send the other one. Was it this one that we just got? We did it. And we get new action, dimensional lock. Allows a science ship to place one dimensional lock on a wormhole, Elgate, or Shrike tunnel. Once locked, only these fleets with your permission may enter. Very strong and cool, to be honest. We're also going to upgrade the Astral Siphon. So we can get more threads going. It's just more energy, I think. We're fine for energy. We want more... We want more threads. Yeah. That's awful. Yeah, you can burn yourself out in this game. I'm semi burnt out. The new DLC's been nice, but yeah, I think we might be getting attacked. Technological acquisition successful. <laughs> Technological um, it's fine. Successful. Defense training is complete. Our extensive training system has proved to be an excellent pilot and has earned the confidence of our officers. We'll make an ex excellent commander and have been promoted to active service. I like. Oh no, it's an actual. Person leader. They get army assembler, unrestrained, trickster, resilient, rift warp, and these are so bad. <laughs> oh, I hate how they're combined now because they just get army traits and admiral traits and all that. Oh, they're inferior, but their economy's way better, so we can't do the thing. I'm not going to read this because my voice is dying. We've got more rifts, but it leaves it up to you guys. If you wanted to play, you won't see all of the different things happening. Technological acquisition successful. Not even looks to Yeah, but it, they get the trait. It's really annoying. I don't want them to get those traits. I really want to make them a tribute tree, damn it. I guess on Sly we can also put this military commander, which gives better menial drone stuff. Which is basically what this is. We're now producing a bunch more threads 12. Yay. We did it. I think we need to get him to pathetic on one of the things. Technological acquisition successful. Contact. How much? Because he keeps buffering. Ah. Uh, you can watch delayed. Acquisition successful. Introspective, more engineering research speed. Don't mind if I do. The alloy production sucks. Produce alloys, please. I guess it is because we're producing a bunch of resources, but I want alloys. Give alloys. Successful. And we'll keep constantly saving astral threads for more the astral screens. Very important. Technological acquisition successful. Um, I will just click that. Me, me, voice is dying. <laughs> I don't want to read it. <laughs> I probably should. We'll read the next one. I just needed a break from reading. Black community. Cool. 
technological acquisition successful. Ship augmentations completed. We have no gas. Fix that. Construction complete. Buff is even delayed. That's not good. It could be me. Am I the one lagging? Technological acquisition successful. I forgot your capacity. Alert. Non-standard space entity encountered. War declaration. Successful. You are right from an oh these two. Or is this a devouring swarm? Yike. A fun oh no, I'm gonna have a devouring swarm on my border. Please tell me you can kill them. Ship augmentations completed. If you don't, I will be sad. Yeah, Empire support is pretty low for the amount of pops we have. 125 pops, and we're only at 206 Empire size. Pretty nice. James May is now five years younger. Technological acquisition success. The rift has been explored. We now have dimensional shifting, which basically allows our fleet to just leave existence and then come back fully repaired. You jump drive for this one and two relics for that one. Jump drive just makes you be able to jump all the way back home and the relics you get to activate two at once. We might not get these. We might get jump drives. We might not get two relics though. We'll see. We don't have one yet. I mean, I could do three curses and stuff. Adjusted. Hope to get a relic. Can we get this? We need alloys. We need alloys so bad. Where's all our pop production gone? Alert. Let me subjugate them! Please! If we just whack on Edict, does that buff us up enough to... Acquisition successful. And then these are dying. <laughs> That's not good. Communications alert. Technological acquisition successful. On the five, though. Technological acquisition successful. Hello. Hello there. Special project complete. System survey complete. Precast as it being done. Okay. These disruptors might get us enough power to subjugate them. And we can almost do another astral splitting. Our attack's good. Just everything else sucks. We need alloys. Please. Construction complete. There are no valid systems. What do you mean? This is a valid system, surely. How is this not valid? 
Create an asteroid. Must control the system without any adjacent astral rift. Are there rifts? Oh, there's a skull there. That's so annoying. That's fine. System survey complete. Construction complete. Now we should be able to do it. Yep. Yeah. It should summon it here. Yes. I understand how the mechanic works. Oh, great. And then he goes. And he goes. I need alloys. <laughs> Technological acquisition successful. Ship augmentations completed. Astral Rift, the mechanism. Gears and peon. We are surrounded by giant machinery. Gears and peons twist in all directions, each tenth of a second. The machine clicks one step forward. Single tooth one of the gears is nearly the width of our rift sphere. Amid swirling nebula of dense gas and fog, there's no beginning or end in the device. I explore the fog. We shall keep going. Construction complete. Entity has decrypted our communications. Technological acquisition successful. How can I not vassal them? This is so annoying. Wait, I can propose subjugation at this point. Why 68? Damn it. They're completely inferior to me, please. Communications alert. Subjugation request. Okay. They become my subject. They they heard me complain. They're like, yeah, we'll just be your subject, bro. I appreciate it. We don't get any resources for them to start though. Which is a bit annoying. Um, it's kind of a tech planet, I guess. Alert. This guy's dying. I could vassal them. Then this person's murdering everyone. Ugh. What a meme. Acquisition successful. What a meme. Acquisition successful. The movement of this dimension machine is as precise as our most accurate plot. Though we have not been able to determine its power source, with some exploring we have found shafts extending to a series of astral rifts. But that, whatever this place is, it's been made with a purpose in mind. The machine is reaching into many universes. The movement of its massive components are creating turbulence in the dense atmosphere, making it difficult to steady our instruments. With some rudimentary manipulation, we could slip one of the shafts loose and use it to jam a pair of the rotating cock. This would quite... This would quite... The agi... agi what? This would quiet... The agi... agiation? What? Of the atmosphere, allowing for a more intimate study of the impressive machinery. Integrating would be irresponsible. Damn the gears. I should integrate them. Yeah. We're gonna jam the gears. Yeah, we won't be able to integrate them for a while. Probably not in this game. As we're just going to check out all the actions. Had anything new? New in terms of what? <laughs> new in terms of from my video? Or new just in general for the DLC? 
technology. There's a lot of new stuff. Successful. You're talking about just the update in DLC. That's for sure. Yes. We have a lot of discoveries. We're just trying to work on getting our astral threads thing come up. So that I can do all the other stuff more consistently. But yeah, I need to find a system where I can do the last astral splitting. I believe we should be able to do it here. Once we do that, we've done all of the uh, all the threads and stuff. Technological acquisition successful. Yeah, we're just kind of chilling. Big chilling here. Playing semi-tall, but also we were forced to uh, expand outwards because we need room to actually do the threads, which is annoying. So there is a construction ship. There is threads here that I'm not harvesting, which is stupid. And this devouring swarm is about to murder my neighbor. So we'll probably be next. Technological acquisition successful. Not the best. System survey complete. Construction complete. Anomalous surface variable detected. Technological acquisition successful. I don't think there's a new crisis. I could be just completely missing it. A foreign entity has decrypted our communication. Association. Propos. Technological acquisition successful. Rings. Very cool. Yeah, our empire size is so small that we're just tech booming so much. Great. Anomalous surface variable detected. Years of drowned. With a great shudder, the entire mechanism came to halt. Our attempt to sabotage was successful. The detention grew. A golden core was exposed under one of the reticulated plates. Growing and pristine, it will only be accessible for a short time. Inevitably, the growing tension will clear the blockage. We've already begun the delicate process of the core's extraction. Nice. And we can do the last astral siphon upgrade, which means we can get more jobs working, more funnels, more bread. Right. We go from an eight upkeep, still an eight upkeep, but we just get two more jobs, which means more threads. And we love threads. Acquisition successful. Get citadels. Our tech is insane. Technological acquisition successful. Literally going crazy. The civic is pretty decent. Empire size from pops minus fifty percent. In the systems are more pop scale more, so it's like you know doesn't really matter. Technological acquisition successful. Plasma thrower. Technological acquisition successful. We we'll just keep building ships. <laughs> Spam the corvettes. The Wait, I swear we got yeah we got phase drop. Why is it successful? Why is it not using phase? Oh, it is. Not a bad Corvette uh, design for year fifty. If I was to say. Not bad at all.
no way there's a scar here, so we can't. <laughs> can't do the thing there. We might be able to do it in this system, actually. Nope, there's a scar there. Why? Can we do it here? Yes. Okay. As your friend chatted, as we attempt to recover the golden core, a small crack quickly propagated through its surface before we could complete it. Retrieval exploded violently forth in all directions. As it shattered, it released an intense energy. Overcoming our blockage, the massive gear around us began spinning widely out of control. We activated the emergency anchor cable to escape the unfortunate situation. Unfortunate, we get a bunch of energy, energy, a bunch of engineering, research, astral threads, and leader advance in age. But we're robots, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, they did say something about the forms. I don't know what it is, though. And we have planar mastery now. We've done one of the last... No, yeah, this is the last rift to unlock them all. We get new edicts, uh, astral binding, astral shielding, and dimensional art. Uh, we can't do this one because we need psionic theory. Oh, no, but we could do it because, yeah, we can still research psionic theory. But it's going to be very hard. As a robot. That's great. Just great. Okay, we will need to destroy this devouring swarm soon. They are getting out of the hand. Technological acquisition successful. But not yet. Not technological yet. acquisition successful. Oh, that's annoying. I can't put a shield on. Shield would have been nice. System survey complete. Need gases. Look, gas jobs, please. Technological acquisition successful. Um, since we have a lot of astral stuff now, I'm going to start using some. So we're using the monthly physics research now. So our tech's gonna give you even zoomier. Construction complete. Hope it's nice. Technological acquisition successful. We literally on repeatables. Nice. <laughs> 50 years in what? Research speed. Resource job. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to wait into... Oh, we can negotiate. Will it allow integration? No, they hate us. Can we take your resources at least? I need alloys. Give me your alloys. Oh, they love it. Oh? Everything? They'll just give me everything? Overlord conflict. They won't come to my aid. What if we drop that? No. Okay. Well, we'll just take everything from them. Anomalous surface variable detected. That sounds good. Good for me. And supremacy's finished. Uh, we'll go. Red Destiny. Nah. I don't. Think, none of these are that good for us. I don't think. Red Destiny's probably the best, so we can get more al uh, en envoys and Anomalous subjects. Just because, why not? People, the AI is keeping like pace with me, which is annoying. I'm trying to outscale them, but I cannot. I'll plop these on auto for a bit to do the cheaper ones, so we get ahead in tech more. Ship augmentations completed. 
But they have equivalent, everyone's inferior in tech, but equivalent economy and logical acquisition fleet. successful. Bit annoying. Five planets is it's it's sad. Acquisition successful. And a lot of our economy's going into threads. <laughs> We'll save for this splitting. Technological acquisition successful. Communications alert. Did I just accept an association status? I think I did. Yes. No, when I could have killed them and made them a vassal. Okay, let's end association status. 10 years in, I might, might be able to uh, murder them. Technological acquisition successful. Yeah, this is just going to do Technological the lower tech. Eh? Cool, cool, cool. Technological acquisition successful. The power of tech. Technological acquisition success. It's just a little bit of tech produced there. Technological acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. <laughs> the amount of tech. <laughs> the amount of tech. Oh my gosh. Construction complete. Technological acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. We zoom in. We zoom in. I'm also going to go to premises just so we get more power from fleets. We're not even first, to be fair. We can just keep farming Corvette, though. So. Oh, Corvette. Oh. Unlimited Corvette. The Crystal Sphere. Strange object has appeared in orbit of the stage. Crystalline sphere, reminiscent of our own risky technology, appeared without warning. Acquisition successful. Let's study it. Technological acquisition successful. How do I study it? Communications alert. Don't think I can. Fine. Technological acquisition successful. It's so hard to get the war goals. With them all having economic superiority over me. Successful. Technological acquisition successful. Oh, study the spheres here. Let's. Technological acquisition. Yeah, let's use astral methods. More research. Hopefully, research. But an upkeep of ten threads. We don't care about the threads. We got loads of threads. Because we can also do the last astral splitting. Yes. Get in there. Go explore it, boy. Technological acquisition successful. Technological. And then we can start using our threads for all other things. I'm going to do it on the. Uh... No, we'll get the quantum catapult insight first. I think. Then we can start researching quantum catapults. Uh, we don't actually have a star that can use it, though. Technological. We'll have to go kill murder. Alert. To get statistics. Space entity encountered. A foreign entity has decrypted our communications. Okay, the artisans. See their patreons. More you. Construction. Complete. Strange mess. We find ourselves inside an enormous mesh. Energy crackles rhythmically along its grid like walls. A deep cloud of dark matter is suspended deep within the tangled web. Transcendent tendrils probe outward against the energy barrier. Find me on contact before recoiling back. Ghostly particles move the pattern. Whatever the spectral mass may be, it's not reacted to at present. Let's examine it. Technological acquisition successful. I like an examination. Acquisition successful. Okay. Construction complete. We are producing. So much energy from my capital. That is crazy. Successful. Let's finish expansion off. Technological acquisition successful. 
Yeah, we're zooming. We're zooming with resource. No. This is good. We need to end this stupid devouring swarm. Although it's going to make <laughs> empire size skyrocket. Ugh. Technological acquisition. Not ideal. Planetary but something we just have to do. Unfortunately. Technological acquisition. Our enormous surface area at the mesh is fully exposed to the throne space. The technology used in its construction is unfamiliar. It's reasonable to assume that it was designed to intercept and capture non solid material. The amorphous cloud stood silently as we surveyed our surroundings. It is the only other presence within the mesh. As we continued our observations, the mechanism was observed extending from the matrix. It seemed to be limiting the amplitude of the current flowing in the mesh. Move the device or investigate. Investigate. Are we ever going to do anything else? Nah. We will always test Technological it. acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. Technological acquisition Wait. successful. Wait. Our vassal <laughs> is the top. Communications alert. Of the galactic community. Why don't they get 50% less diplomatic weight? What? Technological acquisition Are they all select sending a leader here? What is that? Oh, that boosts it so much. Ah, that's how the AI have been getting so much diplo weight. Technological acquisition you send a leader off there. Planetary alert. Walker expires. And what do they do? How do I see what they actually do? What buffs am I getting from this? Technological Game? acquisition successful. Tell me things. Technological acquisition successful. It doesn't say. Oh, envoy's thirty percent. Body makes it Envoy gives thirty percent. As you approach the eternal mass, an independent yet be bending the eye. Oh, why can't I re read? Consciousness was detected in our network, originating from James May. Appeared to be searching for a collective knowledge and memories. NT stood and a message was broadcast through the Sphere's internal communication network. I have never encountered your kind before. What are you? We are explorers from another world. That's what we are. How do you do? Construction complete. How much do they have? 13k! 12k. Jeez. This Grand Admiral AI. I mean, I have 43k, but that's besides the point. Um, yes. Let's assimilate them. I feel like going to war. Are we going to war? Technological acquisition I think successful. we should go to war. Technological I need battle armies for first. Successful. Technological acquisition successful. Our text. It's flying. Council agenda ready. Uh -huh. Communications alert. Drone out but communications alert. Communications alert. Technological acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. It is time. Technological acquisition successful. Almost. Ship augmentations completed. The citadels. Or the one below citadels. Right, we can do the edicts. Let's go. We can get inner focus more. No, that's not one. Astral binding more resources for jobs. Astral shielding. Hit points and hardening. Link and egg. Dimensional artifacting minor artifacts. But look how expensive they are. Construction. Because of our empire size. G. Base is ten. We don't. We have twenty one. We cannot afford that. Pretty annoying. And we've just got research speed because we've got a foreign conscience. Nice. We will take that. Technological acquisition successful.
We're doing mega energy. What? Our tech's insane. Okay, well... We can also... Like, we could have got an early... Oh, we've already got... What the hell? Did it already research... Quantum Catapult? <laughs> I think it did. No. Yeah, it did. That's insane. That's insane. Yeah, I think let's kill uh, these now. They've gone on too long. We just have a casual 71k in 60 years. Not bad. The, the, some of the buffs these get. Let's do Astral Boost 2 for more sublight speed. We are the quickest Corvettes you've ever seen. After been a 2 impulse thrusters. Yeah, we're about to just go zoom in. But we do suck against star bases. But let me tell you, if they give me a fleet, they're gonna die. Hostile stationary asset engaged. And the study's over. Crystal Rift. I've not seen that before. We should go explore that. Um, James May, you're good at doing stuff like that. Off you go. Our empire size has been a skyrocket. Council agenda available. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Communications alert. Why aren't you invading here? Oh, the one K just stayed behind. Of course. Oh, I'm just trying to activate everything. But yeah, we probably won't actually get to see some of these, which is annoying. Hostile stationary asset engaged. It's 13k. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're gonna die. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Here we go, 13k. Oh, they've doubled it. 25k. This is 75. And they should all just melt. Why are they doing so well? Stop. There you go. It's not from hacking. It's um from skill. Your skill. I would say. Technological acquisition successful. Construction complete. Alert station engaged. Stationary asset engaged. Yeah, we'll try and get dimensional shifting next just to show that out. Protocols initiated. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Oh, we could do flash forge as well. So we click that and then we get a free hyper relay, essentially. Pretty nice. Oh, we can definitely just make these, uh... Oh, they've got defensive things. Are you serious? That's dumb. I was just going to murder them. They're one system, but we'll, uh, keep them around. We can get focusing or rage or shield harmonic. We'll do focusing. <clears throat> My voice is killing me. Communications. Oh, 
technological acquisition successful. We're going to take as minimal systems as possible so we don't up the empire size too much. We don't need that land. Oh wow, this had actual strongholds on. Stationary asset engaged. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Technological acquisition successful. I like your videos. <laughs> <Just Monetary alert. laughs> Thanks, I guess. <laughs> I missed the big war as well. Oh, oops. That should be that hive mine dealt with. Asset engaged. Construction complete. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Expansion done. And we will go synthetic age. So we can get the tradition. Acquisition successful. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. Oh no, my star bases went. My armies went the wrong way. Silly. And we can do the dimensional shifting. It's essentially, what this does. Planetary settlement procedure is um, when we have enough threads, you can shift out and they'll come back fully repaired. It's pretty good, to be honest. Technological acquisition successful. Alert. Spaceport engaged. My ships are so fast, though. I have so many buffs to, like, move speed and... All that. Alert. Spaceport engaged. And we've taken the capital. One more planet. And they're dealt with. I think. So, um, yeah, if we click this, you see they'll just phase out of existence. They're gone. And they'll come back fully healed. It's kind of good when you run like full armor compositions. Construction complete. I've just opened a strange wormhole. But where? To the middle of the galaxy. Thank you <laughs> I think we've just found that uh, endgame crisis everyone was talking about. Let's go say hello to it and hopefully not die. Where are we? The other side, this warm hurt seems to have taken us to the center of the galaxy. It's not been possible for us to exist here, let alone an entire system. Is there perhaps some dimensional manipulation at play? We have little time to investigate as we receive transmissions from an unknown entity. Oh, there it is. What is this? What fools have you brought to aid you, Shadagon? Or perhaps you have offered us food. Have we been lured here as prey? They have 10 10 Ks? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 10 Ks. What is it? We can we can kill that. Surely. Construction complete. I don't actually know. Guess we'll see. Astral boost again. More sublight speed. I really like this one. Speed metal is is strong. Like 
genuinely, look how quick these go. That is fast. Construction complete. Technological acquisition successful. We got another essential pick. Better of the galaxy. Does this help? Damage the crisis seeking civilizations? No, I don't think it does. Um. Well, we're gonna go anyway, just because it might help. Communications alert. Communications alert. You don't want to be too. Uh, Hostile fleet assets engaged. Too cautious. Oh, we're engaging. So they have cruisers surrounding an ancient rift. Oh, I don't think we're going to kill them. <laughs> we might have bit off more than we could chew. Come on. Technological acquisition successful. Yeah, so they are strong. They are strong. Um, I think we could run cruiser missiles to counter them because they had no armor. We could just bypass, hopefully. If in doubt, cruiser corvette. The corvette? Cruiser... What am I saying? Missile cruisers. I My brain's gone. And if they are dimensional things that have energy weapons from the original uh astral rift we wait no we want shield they have energy weapons they're good against armor yeah we want we want shield we don't want armor that's probably why we got wrecked well we had pure armor okay now we just build up we'll take them on Alert. It's cruiser in time. Um, where are all my star bases? Yeah, they're building down here too. Neat. Construction complete. We did damage them though, quite a lot. Technological acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. Construction complete. Get a um technological acquisition successful. I arranged, dude. <laughs> Look at Mega Struck. This is insane. I don't know how I've managed to just Zoom the way. Technological acquisition successful. Construction complete. I'm pretty sure you need to start a new game, yes. But you can try it. Might work. Who knows? But I doubt it. Press X to doubt. Yeah, I'm just gonna automate planets. Well, I can't be bothered to do that. Manage them. Do your thing, game. Technological acquisition successful. And uh, everything we own for more alloys. Council agenda ready. We need cruisers. We need them stat. Oh, and then I get military build up. Dimensional lock, we can't even use. Fortunately. Standard space entity encountered. Technological acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. Keep building. Keep building the cruisers. Unlimited cruisers. Ca 
council agenda available. I guess we could go resources from jobs. Oh, that's gonna be and we're losing 92 astral threads. <laughs> oh dear. More fruit. That's more fruit. Hello, James. Construction from Germany. <laughs> Uh, I may have went in and died to the extra-dimensional scares, but we found a mysterious system in the middle of the galaxy. I'm trying to take that on, and I think that's a good end to the stream. But we'll see. Ship augmentations completed. I didn't get it in my video. Uh, oh, we finally got the um, Alert. astral drum. Space entity encountered. Must have just got Hyper tray, right? Whatever it's called. Come drives. Ship augmentations completed. Ship augmentations completed. Resolution failed. I'm not even paying attention. Skill issue. Skill issue. We will examine the rock. I can't be bothered to read more riffs. We've got so many. My voice is dying. Right, I've literally read so many damn astral things. Wow. Technological acquisition successful. I'm fairly sure we'll uh beat technological whatever is there with this. Hopefully. That is cold. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I like how this is just instantly, constantly doing energy weapon fire. Do that. Do that. Research that. Technological acquisition successful. We're almost there. What the heck is that? Transgenic crops. Oh, it's literally just a repeatable. Technological the can sell us to the door. You can be um this one. That is not useful. Acquisition successful. I've let we took these planets. They're not even producing anything. This is how good the AI is at managing planets. I just can't be bothered. We took them from the form. Done. Agro pit. I heard there's a stream here from EV2. It's <laughs> from the same place in Dune's Ships. Nice. We'll do the folding jump. So that folding thing, you get to retreat back to your homeland from wherever in the galaxy. It's pretty cool. Also, kind of not always useful. Technological acquisition it's alright. I hope you and uh, James are having a good time. Acquisition successful. Juggernaut. Be the Juggernaut. Throw on the repeatables. Hey, good. Glad you're enjoying. Where are all these rifts even coming from? James May gains the black light blinded. Great. Glant in. Oh dear. Technological oh, James May. Successful. You fall land tomorrow and eat. Ooh. Nice. Ship augmentations completed. Enjoy. Ship augmentations We're at full strength. I think surely this can take it on. Surely. Let's just try. Let's just try. We'll get shield hardening and hit points from astral shielding. Fuel, shield hit points. Uh, explosive damage. Armor. Energy weapon. Even though we don't have energy weapons. Why not? And I don't think any of this helps. 
What could possibly go wrong? Exactly. Fleet assets Let's um slow it down and watch the combat. Look at that first strike though. They got PD. We're also much faster than yeah. This is <laughs> we're so we're so fast. Wait, I didn't activate. There we go. Fifteen percent more sublight speed. Go zoom. Oh, we did it. Our fleets have defeated the strange ships guarding this rift, but it seems they were not alone. We have received a transmission from beings inhabiting a structure nearby the lone planet in the system. More are coming. We must seal this rift. We are all that remains. More are coming. Start situation. The seal. Do nothing. Under assault from an unknown force, the NCs currently inhabit the center of the galaxy. Request their assistance. Should they fail? Should they fall? We know not of our fate. 50% shield hit points on all friendly ships. Energy weather damage. Do nothing. Well, we don't need either of those. Where are the things that are coming? Is this the thing we need to kill? Uh, we are all that remains Mr. Field. Can you use my threads? There you go. Oh, they get. A f oh, that's cute. They get a. They get a fleet. Forms of what the unbidden actually look like. Yeah. So I think stuff will spawn and we have to defend them. I guess that's what's happening. Well, because they're unbidden, they're so easy to counter. Construction complete. I'm just. I don't know where the things are coming from. <laughs> oh, we wait. We're basically like. Okay. Successful. It's like a survival mod all of a sudden. Can we just take the system? Build up a star base. That'll be cool. I guess we should turn off all the edict so we don't waste this. Yes. Acquisition successful. Alert. Construction oh. unit engaged. Oh no, they spawn in the middle. Oh no. That was not good. Fuel shields. Armor, explosives. We should just, yeah. <laughs> Look how fast we are. Did you see how quickly they just run away? You're back for big and super. We've got the formless. They're no, they're no match though. Completely no match. We're not gonna sit in the center though. That's why I've learned. So it doesn't tick down, it just they just keep spawning and we have to Well we should sit by them, I guess. Let's no 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 don't attack. I kinda wanna click attack. Before major What happens if Hostile stationary asset engaged? <laughs> this is probably not what you're meant to do. Finally, application of Chaser Broker. Behold our century. We will find what they have hidden. We must leave. Beings known as the Formless have been destroyed by attackers from another dimension. The portal into the system is shut. Oh, it just blows it up. Oh, we lost. Did we lose our fleet? No. Okay, well... I think I broke it because you're not meant to do that because it thinks the other thing killed it. Um, let's not do that. <laughs> Order a sword in Chicken Salad City. Communications alert. Get more fleets just in case. Construction. Can never be too safe. You miss? Well, we did most of the uh, astral actions. 
And now we're defending formless from things. I want to try and make a star base here. Will this break? Them to passive in case stuff spawns. Yes, build the outpost. Oh, they Damn it. No, James May died. But yeah, we counter them so hard. It doesn't even matter. Alright, let's quick build build the star base. Quick. James May was such a legend. He went he lit James May did like literally all of the Astral Rift. How could this happen? Jeez. If I just keep yeah, you can literally just keep giving them astral stuff and they'll just spawn fleets that I don't even need to help because we are insane. We are insane, we are OP. Cruiser artillery's broken. For some reason, there's one level five thing, I guess, is the power. Construction and yeah. We got the star base. Upgrade it. Yes. Protect the star base at all costs. We are insane. We are. Get all of the minerals and stuff. Oh, the fleets here. They are getting stronger. Starbase holds. Yes. The starbase holds. Communications alert. Starbase holds. Albanian? I don't know that. Technological I do not get the reference. We will hold. Hold. We're back constructing. Oh, the special. I watched some of it. Hostile fleet assets I don't know. I wasn't the biggest Top Gear fan, to be fair. Yeah, this is this is an easy dub. This is outrageous. This is unfair. Space no, the Starbase upgrade got cancelled. How do I buff this up without upgrading it to a Star Wars? If I put dimensional lock, I could build a habitat here, put a dimensional lock, and nobody can get in. Well, they could probably jump drive from there. Still. It could be done. Technological acquisition successful. I used to watch it on Dave sometimes when it was on, but I well, didn't watch it like when they first came out. Non standard space entity encountered. Watched some of them. But I wasn't like a cult fan. They are getting stronger. Oh, they took one of our cruisers out. How dare they. That was a good cruiser. Technological acquisition successful. Oh, it's still upgrading. Good. Oh no! Wait, it did go through before. Technological acquisition successful. We've almost done it, though. We've almost done it. Alert! Construction. One hundred and thirty k. Alert! Construction. We run away. Be back. Heal, heal. 
Construction complete. Angus. Angus, Angus. Communications alert. Communications alert. We have almost done it! The formless will be saved! It's almost there. 200 days. Diplomatic weight, 5%. Yeah. Well, do that. Oh, 150. They took out the starbase. But they couldn't take anything out. Zadigal, legendary paragon. In a constant state of flux, his NC visible form is shift. It shifts between the, this reality and another. The voice resonates as a harmonic multiplute, is speaking on behalf of several beings at once. It is done. The seal is set. Never shall our children find this place again. We have a commander that has psychic, so ship weapon damage, shield hardening. We have space bender. They give monthly astral threads 10, jump drive range 50, jump drive cooldown minus 90, and this leader has no upkeep. Command in presence. 50 command limit, scout, sublight speed, oh my gosh, this is insane, ship, hyperlane, protection, time missing, minus 15, energy weapon damage, energy fire rate, and celebrity. If they are on a planet, they give amenities. Um, yeah, let's work together. Wait. Wait, there's still more we can do. We can put you there, and they get leveled up, and they get leveled up. More limit? Yeah. Oh, you can't even level it up anymore. What a chad leader, eh? Let's um, let you up. You. Fine. The new UI is throwing me off. Something already. Something already. This UI is throwing me off. I should have just <laughs> transferred fleet. There we go. Two hundred and forty. With a level ten commander. Technological acquisition successful. I think I've broken this because they also own the system. They've sent us an architect of the eternal throne. It is one that spends millennia in its making. Advice to bind us as one. Dedicate him forever. This one is best suited to serve you. There are none left. Clever. But we want the throne, right? We definitely want the throne. No! It, the Chad leader leaves! And they fight us. Oh, shoot. I couldn't put a leader on. Um. Um. Um, it's fine. I think we have everything on. We should win this. Maybe? Oh, my. They're strong, but not strong enough. They shall be murdered. Technological acquisition success. Formless destroyed. We have successfully extended the last of the remaining formless in Azalash. All that remains is a mysterious device. One needs simply place their grappling clamps upon it to activate its miraculous regenerative property. This device functions as a sort of conduit into the astral plane with incredible quantities of extra dimensional material flowing freely through it. 1,000? Threads, an internal throne, a new relic. Oh, that looks sick. All leaders are immortal, passively. I'm robots, so it doesn't matter. Active effect. Active effects. For 10 years, you get 333% more astral threads. <laughs> we go from 36. 120. <laughs> 
And if we had two um, relics, we could use this spread here, and it would let us use two relics at once. Um, and there's a few battle debris, large mats, the new, the new toy towards I think, I think that's everything. Obviously, we couldn't discover every astral action, but if you want to see that, you can watch the video that I just uploaded where I actually used every single one of these. Thank you all for watching. Um, there's a video coming that Sunday. Make sure you subscribe. It's probably one of the biggest ones I've... I've spent a month on it. It's completely different to what I usually make. It's still about Solaris. And it's quite interesting and cool. A hint... I had to read through every single dev diary. We'll see what it is, though. We'll see what it is. Yeah, the leader probably was better, James. The leader was probably better, but I wanted to see what would happen. Immortal leaders, though, is very cool. Like, if you can finish that. But yeah, on that bombshell, <laughs> I will see you again. Thank you for watching. Au revoir.